So I'm actually getting ready to cook some dinner for me and my little one. My little one is at her after school program. I let her go about four. We had to do homework. And she's playing right now. So I'll be, I got about an hour, 45 minutes to kind of just prepare what I'm going to do. But I, I love to just, you know, tape, um, you know, maybe put the phone up and cut everything up and have the music playing and let me cook and you guys could watch that. But unfortunately, I can't use music uh, when I make these videos and I'm trying to follow the rules. Sometimes I forget, but I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it. Those were the rules. I never understood those rules because the simple fact is if I bought the damn CD and I could prove that I bought the CD and I pop it in the stereo, <laughs> even if I'm driving the car, there's an issue with that. Why? It's not, I'm not saying I want money. I'm not trying to make money off these videos. I'm, I'm just not. I don't, you know, I'm not asking for anything. I, I just need, I love my music. It is really hard for me to do this without my music. But anyway, so I don't know if you see this, but this is, we're gonna, yeah, I don't believe in, I'm, it's all health food. I have to, and that's another thing I had to do research on where there are, what foods to get, because a lot of these foods are not in season. How are they doing that? They're genetically growing these damn things with the other chemicals. I'm not, no, I'm a little scared. I don't know about y'all, but I'm a little scared. So I, I really am scared of eating meat, but I do. I have to do the research. There's a little farm down here. It's a little, I love chicken. So I think I'll just go down there and pick one of those fresh little chickens that are growing. Buck, 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 buck. What a lovely day. Buck. Sorry, baby. <laughs> we got to eat. <laughs> But I don't want the chickens that are all in a little cage, like freaking out and going nuts and crazy and developing d diseases of their own in the meat. <laughs> Just thinking about that, I was like, oh, and all the chemicals that they put in. I had to teach my baby. She, did, she didn't know where milk came from. I'm like, okay, milk comes from a cow. This is common sense. And, and, and cottage cheese is a milk product. We had to pull all up the four old-fashioned pro uh, food products. Or the food group, food group, sorry. <laughs> I, I'm like on a time schedule and I'm trying to put out an, a little video every day. Okay, so I obviously didn't get to the videos the way I wanted to get to the videos to learn how to do this online shit. But <clears throat> I will get to them tonight. I'm going to pull another all-nighter. I have to. There's something. I need to do this. I, I need to do this because if I could do this, you guys can too. And I want to show you everything that I'm doing, every step that I'm making, all my bad days, all my good days. This isn't an I day. I wish I could listen to my motherfucking music. Shit. So anyways, I put on documentaries. I love documentaries. So anyways, um, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening to me. And I will be watching the videos tonight and I'll take a whole bunch of other notes and I will try to get this up and going. It's going to take me, I think, with all this information, it's probably going to take me about two weeks, three weeks, because I want to learn all the videos. God, I got a ton of them to watch, and I can't wait to get into that. But unfortunately, I'm a single mom, and I got to make sure my baby's taken care of, and go homework, and bath, and brush your teeth. Don't talk back, don't you? Ah, so parents, you get it. And then you got to turn around and do some shit like this, but I'm going to do it. If, what did George Lucas say? If I got a hook, uh, there's three things. Well, he did two. Let me add three to that. George Lucas, if you're watching, you you actually had to hook, you had to crook, and you almost croaked. <laughs> Writing the Star Wars series. I mean, you sat down for a whole year, and it got out of hand. You went, like, way out in the stars. You know, so you had to find, you had to break down that whole thing. That whole uh, story that you wrote for that whole year, and you were like, after when you said, "Okay, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna waste my one third of my year of my work. I'm gonna make sure I get all of these movies out there. I don't know how, I don't know when or why, or, but it's gonna happen. And you made it happen. You almost died, but you made it happen. So that kind of strength is very inspiring to me because when I look and I watch that. I wonder how you felt. <laughs> if you were in front of me right now, I would, this is the question I want to ask you. Okay, so after 
doing all the entire cast and it was nine months that you did that whole entire cast to, for the Star Wars, everything, almost a year in, in a small room and you interview people, interview people and you did all of that, watched everybody's, so you lost your voice, you almost had a heart attack, you, you're, it was hard to get your point of view across because the actors, did, they don't work like that and you were in a rush because you always had somebody on your ass and you're about to get out of here. Tonight is the last night, motherfucker. You know, you didn't say it like that. Okay, so, but when it was all edited and it was all, the, the whole entire thing was done, the Star Wars, the first Star Wars, and you guys started listening to it. Sorry, it's funny to me. It's not funny, but it's funny. And then you had Darth Vader. You guys forgot all about Darth Vader. You didn't even know what he sounded like, and you heard this English accent. It's in the lust with the alliance. I know you were like almost panicky. Like, I got to find a voice for Darth Vader. We, how do we forget about Darth Vader? <laughs> oh, I wish I was there. I would have went, went through your head. I would have been rolling, laughing like we fucked up again. Oh, what the fuck else is going to go? So, you know, in your head, you were probably thinking, oh, man, I got to interview 100,000 people. But out of all of that, you picked James Earl Jones as the voice of Darth Vader. Do you know that he was just a little country boy born in Mississippi, raised in Michigan or something like that? I don't exactly know. And he stuttered as a little boy. And you know, kids are mean to one another. They're going to tease you. I could see him. I, I can only imagine what he had to go through when he was a little boy. Oh, my heart. <laughs> but anyways... You grew up, and he grew up, fought that, and he became Darth Vader, the voice of Darth Vader, and it still goes on to this day. I mean, when I was a little girl, I wasn't into any of the uh, Han Solo and Mark and, and or um, uh, Carrie, Carrie Fisher or something like that. I was, I made my own character up. I was Sherry Vader, literally. <laughs> I, I made my own character up. I was Sherry Vader. I was Darth Vader's daughter. There were because of that voice. And it still goes on to this day. So I know JJ. I'm just gonna call him JJ or J-E-J. -E -J. Hey. <laughs> I know you were standing up there and everybody that was fucking with you were the best the best revenge is success. Cause you was probably doing this, like, yeah, you motherfuckers, the last laugh. Ha ha ha. And you was ha ha. Oh, oh, oh. To the pink. <laughs> Man. But I wonder, I mean, see how that happened? See how just, just that miracle just happened right in front of you? That's magic. And for you to not let go of your dream and do all of every, you helped so many people. You want Luke Skywalker, you wanted him to first to be an elder mentor, and then you want him to be a, a smaller character. And then um, you also wanted maybe a woman. You thought maybe a woman. But you knew, you know, art is very particular. You have to know when to let that out. You could be a nudist. You could be a Buddhist. You can't be a nudist Buddhist. You know what I'm feeling? You feel me? But I've got such a big heart that I have to deal with my nudist Buddhist. Like Michael Jackson was a nudist Buddhist to me. But he was away be probably par past 100 years before us. Past that. Like Nikolai Tesla. They said he was crazy. Oh my gosh, it's eight minutes. I'm not gonna. Yeah, he he saw the future 300 years. 300 years, and we almost we almost never that was never taught about him growing up. I learned that <laughs> fucking with videos. <laughs> and now look, I'm making videos. What the? <laughs> I'm wrong. With my, you know, I'm doing this so y'all can see me get out of my illusion right now. <laughs> I got to get out of it. I'm going to get a house of some sort. It's going to sing to me. It's going to, when I walk in, I'm going to feel like a breath of fresh air. Just it re energize my whole body and soul. It's going to make me create and let me explore my talents that I, all the, all the stories I got going on in my head, it's going to let me let it all out. I can't wait. I'm going to be able to sit in the backyard or a patio with a nice little fence or maybe a, a swing. I can lay out there in the sun and watch these videos. <laughs> Just, 
and just 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 vibe with the sun. The sun is like everything. Oh, I love how the universe is. I just I love it. And it's hard for me to get that vibe when I'm in a little when I'm in a box and I can't even enjoy my my view. And I open up my window and there's my neighbor. Hey there, neighbor. How the hell there, neighbor? <laughs> Anyway, but I'm working through it. If I could do this, if I could pull this off, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm just doing it. If I could pull this off and you guys are watching me from real reality and I'm just putting everything I was taught into play. Now, it took me literally 10 years, four hardcore years. Oh. Four hardcore years. The last four has been the hardest fight for me. And now that I understand, I have an understanding. I don't understand it. I don't know it all. But I have an understanding of this law of attraction. So I'm just going to put into play what I know. And I just hope and pray that you guys understand. If you studied as far as I am, or want to know, then you could do the same as I, and we could do it together. You don't even, we don't have to meet, we don't have to talk. Just, let's do this, because my favorite saying, my favorite quote since I was little is, together forever success. Together plus forever equals success. And that's what I really want. Not just for me, but for Anyone that's on the bottom and you are a bottom feeder and you still on the bottom and you still feeding and you're still like you and I'm talking to you. I fuck everybody else. I don't care. You guys can talk all the shit you want because I've been through enough shit in my life where, like I said, got there, been there, done that, have the t shirt, motherfucker. I do not care. But if you are where I'm at and you are even drag through the mud and you still like have thoughts and dreams and you don't really connect with people because you're you're thinking on a whole different level and I'm not saying a better level or a lower level but just different you know there's different tracks you and you understand what I'm doing and you understand what I'm saying that I'm really talking to you that's me talking to your soul uh, we might not look alike <laughs> I mean, female, male female whatever I don't care all I know is the fact that I am doing this, and this is how I'm doing it, and I have to clear my thoughts, and if I'm living in my illusion, I can walk around and pretend that I am in just the house of my dreams, and with the neighborhood of my dream. but the backyard, I can look at my backyard, and my daughter's out there jumping on a trampoline, maybe with some foster kids. Well, you know, service children, that's what they're called now, or, or adopted kids, or whatever. I can't wait for that, man. I, I mean, I just can't wait. I just, I'm, I'm that little, I'm going to be that little old lady that lived in the shoe, had 100,000 kids, didn't know what to do kind of situation. Man, kids are amazing. They're magical. Their little eyes light up over everything. I love that spirit. And it just, I love it. And it's hard, though, as a parent. To keep on going, especially if you're by yourself. I don't care if you're male, female, sister, but if you're you've got a kid and you're taking care of your parent, and you're doing it by yourself and trying to pay the bills and deal with stupid ass cell phones and technology because you can't afford the big stuff and the shit keeps on breaking down and doing dumb shit like this motherfucker that I just supposedly it manifest. Oh, I fucked up somewhere. <laughs> I need a different phone. How do I manifest this piece of shit, LG? I don't get it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I want a new phone. I'm gonna get a new phone. I don't know how I'm gonna get it, but I'm gonna get it. But anyway, so that's about it. It's about 14 minutes into this, and I think I'm not gonna. I'm trying not to go as far as 15 or 16 or whatever. But I just want to say, you know, to everyone that has taught me since I was little, thank you. Thank you. And you don't even know who you are. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I've got a ton of them. I just didn't stick with one. I didn't want to get caught up like those people did with Jim Jones. Man, those motherfuckers followed everything that he said and 
They drank poison knowing they were drinking poison to die. And the kids. <laughs> I'm like, how, 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 how does that happen? I stayed away. I was like, fuck that. No. <laughs> no. And I knew something was wrong there. So that's why I'm like, really, I only like, I listen to this. I hear that. I listen to that. I switch that. I, t I do research. And then and I, I'm one of my mentors, my one of my favorite mentors told me, hey, you know, who do you believe? Who do you listen to? Listen to the people that have the things that you, that you want and the evidence that it works, you know? And I'm like, okay, I get it. So I, I was able to follow that rule and regulation, and it kind of really helped. So thank you. God, thank you. I don't know if I'm allowed to use names, and since I'm not allowed to have music playing in the background, but I got to try to keep this short. So anything that you see and whatever I'm doing or whatever I'm speaking, it's, it's, I was trained. I taught. I want to say I taught myself, but I made myself because I didn't really teach myself. I, I had mentors to teach myself. And then myself and I started fighting until we became best friends and now we love each other. And that was hard as fuck to do. You should have seen me. And I'm, I still feel like I look like I'm coming out of a battle. Shit. I'm looking at myself I'm like, whoa, girl. <laughs> you was one of you was a fucking fighter. I am a fighter. I've been a fighter, but it's like, fuck that. I'm not no motherfucking dummy. I know that. Everybody else thinks I'm dumb and stupid and crazy. Whatever. I don't care what they think. I know how I feel. Eleanor Roosevelt said no one can take, no one can make you inferior, inferior unless you give them permission. Well, here we are. You know, this is like, and then, then don't let their words fuck with you. Okay, so let it sting, then catch yourself. They're just jealous. Replace that immediately, because if you don't, then what will happen is you'll start feeling this negative vibe, and you'll start frequency that negative shit, and it's gonna come, all it's gonna do is come right back to you. And it's the hardest thing for me to learn how to detach that. And when I detach that, it's it's I'm still wounded on it, and to, and finally I I could do it. I could do it. It was difficult to learn, but I had to make myself. So what I did was I listened when I started feeling irritated. I grabbed CDs, videos, uh, everything that you could possibly imagine. <laughs> everything. So I'm just saying, don't let. Don't let people fuck your bubble. I hate that too because I love to watch a bubble grow and pop naturally where they're glowing and they're, they're flying and just as happy as they can be because it just reminds me of my favorite animal. If I was ever an animal, I'd be a fucking eagle. That's a bad bitch right there. <laughs> the fuck? I don't feel like dealing with y'all. <laughs> don't make me eat you. She's flying away and shit all the way to the top. Kicking back and picking all that stuff out of her little beak while the wind and everything, hurricane fucking shit up there. She floating on the top, enjoying the wind and the sunshine hitting her. She goes, I think I'm hungry. It's the storm over. Oh, look at all of these things that are just dying. Let me help them. Oh, I love an eagle. Why am I talking about an eagle? I don't know. See? That's what I'm saying. I'm an introvert. It's very hard for me to be on camera. It's hard for me to get these words out, but I'm going to keep on practicing and practicing and practicing until I get it, until I could actually keep a conversation one way and stop going, what, this way? Let's go this way. Let's go this way. <laughs> All right. Let's go over here. <sighs> I'm listening to uh, Yoda right now, and I remember when Luke Skywalker said, I'm not afraid, and Yoda, I could just see Yoda going, you will be, you will be, you will be, meaning when you got to deal with your demons, it's scary, oh, you're going to go through some shit, hell, bit, and I did, I, now I went through it without a therapist, I did it on my own, but I, did, I wasn't by myself, I had God helping me through this shit, 
Because ain't no therapist or nothing in this world is going to help me. But God Almighty, and that's how I feel. So, anyways, you, just like you, it was afraid. I was afraid. I was afraid. I, it was hard. I fell on my face. I lost everybody that thought I thought were my friends that aren't my friends. And it's it's it and it's like everybody's gone. And it was just me and my daughter. And now I got to the point where I'm so damn comfortable in my shell. I don't want anybody around me. I don't want to go hang out. I don't want to do anything but you know learn and and stay home and learn. And I'm having a pro. I, I now I'm like, okay, I'm getting too comfortable. So let me come out of my shell. Now I'm coming out of my shell. I had no idea that you know I had a YouTube channel. And when I found out I had a YouTube channel, I'm like, I could. I'm gonna try to do this for real. Because now that I understand and have that concept, and I have a foundation, I built on my foundation for years. Oh, the foundation was the hardest thing for me to do, to get those four concepts, well, five, master all four. But, oh, that was a nightmare, and I couldn't contact you. I, oh, I'm talking to my mentor right now, see? I couldn't contact you. I, I had the media out of my life, and then when I went to try to find you and write you a thank you card, I found out you went to jail. Thank God I wasn't listening to the media. All I could think is, you done talk too much, motherfucker. <laughs> you done said something that you wasn't supposed to say. <laughs> but I'm glad that I listened to you. I'm still listening to those CDs. I'm still, Joe, uh, there's another one, a preacher that I really absolutely love. Him and his whole entire family. I love the fact that he glorifies his wife. I want a man to glorify me like that. Damn. Gave me hope for that. And I really appreciate all my mentors that are married that really love their wives and really put their wives out there first. Thank you. Thank you. It made it easier for me to listen to you without visualizing, oh, what would he be like? We, us women are trained to love a man for his money, but not for who he is. And I fought that all my life. And I and I've and I've attracted some really hardcore men that fucked with me mentally. But now that I know that I've got that understanding and how they did, I'm glad I went through all of that because they really helped me. Because then when I understood how to manifest and my thought patterns, I'm understanding them. Um, I know that. And you have a number of shots on those hardcore manipulating evil tricks that they did to me and I fought and I didn't let them win. I know I could see it coming a million miles away. I'm trained to I'm I know what's coming at me. The only thing is I don't want I don't want to attract the same kind of character like that. I want somebody that's kind and gentle and understanding, respectful, encouraging, loving. Someone that's going to open the door and guide me through the door by using his hands on 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 on, our, on my lower back, guiding me to the door. Ugh. Romance like that. That doesn't exist anymore. And besides, now my, my group of people, either all of the good ones are married, which I will never fuck around with a married man or a man that's with a girlfriend, or if I find out and later I'm you dead I will never talk to you again because you don't disrespect a woman and us women need to stick together. We we're not disrespecting each other. You know that motherfucker is married, leave that motherfucker alone. Shit. Cause what comes around goes around, trust me, just say <laughs> Okay, so anyways, let me let you guys go. I, like I said, it's, it's, it's one of those days I'm just having a, ugh, and it's hard for me to manifest. I want my baby here with me. I want her outside. I want her playing outside, but I have to drop her off. At the daycare so she could play with the kids and they're supervised and they, they all know each other so it's a cute little thing but the thing is I I want her here home with me you know I want to play with her and I want to talk to her and I want to have the cute moments and the cute sayings and I want to hear all of that you know 
So I hope Luke made it to the fleet all right. <laughs> Who talks like that? I hope I'm Luke sure made it to the fleet all right. <laughs> anyway, so I yeah yeah it's a long one. Um, bye. Talk to you guys later. That's about it.